guys, I'm back. So I just thought I would show you how I reorganized my purse. I am so in love with this purse. Now I did look up Hillary Radley bags. I saw nothing like this purse anywhere. I will try googling it again, but I couldn't find that purse for the life of me when I looked on eBay. I saw some kind of generic looking bags and then some clothes, so I don't know if Hillary Radley really did a lot of purses or anything, but I will still try my best to find it so I can link it for you guys. If I can't find it, I am really sorry. I got it off of ThreadUp, so I guess I got kind of lucky there. Um, not that any of you care or even asked, but... The makeup I'm wearing is the makeup I literally wear every single time I do videos or anything. I know you guys can see Alden back there. I told him to just stay up there and be quiet. The only difference is I did try out this Wet n Wild Photos Photo Focus Foundation that I recently just got from Dollar Tree. And I got it in soft beige and I was a little nervous when I got it home and noticed that because typically I go with classic ivory or something ivory and usually beige would be a little too deep for me but it actually looks really good on my skin it matches me really well and when i look in the mirror up close it doesn't look like i even have foundation on so i really do like this foundation and i'm glad that i got it for a dollar and of course i just always go in with my Too faced hangover rx primer this one is getting pretty low this, I am just about almost finished with my LA Colors strobing, found not foundation, highlighter. So I'm going to have to bust out the new one that I have. But I'm going to want to pick up another one or two to have on hand because this is seriously my favorite highlighter of all times. I also really need another one of these Physicians Formula The Healthy Powder because mine is just, I have very little left and I'm in... LN3. So I really need another one of those. And then my favorite plush that I'm always wearing is Always Rosy by e.l.f. And I feel like it's just like the perfect rosy, mauve toned color. And then of course my Thrive Cosmetics mascara that I live by. I don't ever want to use another mascara. My e.l.f brow pencil since I was finally able to get my shade again and this is my favorite lipstick that I wear I have several that I sometimes switch on and off but this is just my favorite it is the physician's formula the healthy lip in magentile so it's just this really pretty hot pink and I just wanted to show something to you guys so you guys know that I really love this Laneige lip sleeping mask I got it off Amazon and Laneige is pretty pricey. I mean, you get a lot of product, though. Like, this whole thing is full. You can kind of see how I've put a dent in it because I've had it for quite some time. If you want to save money, um, instead of buying the Laneige, this actually just came in the mail yesterday, I think. It's the W7 Sweet Dreams with vitamin E, aloe vera, and grapeseed oil. Um, the Strawberry Overnight Lip Mask. Now, the Laneige one is slightly bigger. Let me see what it says. Um, 20 grams. Okay. It's all in Korean in the back, but it says 20 G, so I guess that's like 20 grams. But with the W7 one, it says it's 0 0.42 ounces. Oh, so then I guess it would be 12G, so 12 grams. So it is a little bit less, but it's literally like $5. And it also comes with this little protective thing, just like the Laneige one. It smells amazing. It smells like strawberry. Now this product is a little bit softer, so when you dip your finger into it, don't like really dip your finger in. Just kind of like tap it in there. And just that little tap, I got a lot on my finger. And like you just rub it all over your lips and your lips will feel amazing. So 
if you've been in the market for something to keep your lips nice and soft and hydrated and smooth and you don't want to pay the price of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, even though it's worth it, look up the W7 Strawberry Overnight Lip Mask. I will do my best to link this down below because I did just buy it. It said every time I have something in my cart, it's like, oh, there's only nine of these left so hurry up and purchase it but if i can link it i will link this in case anybody's interested this stuff seriously makes your lips feel so baby soft it's amazing um i will be using up my laneige lip sleeping mask of course i paid 14 dollars for this maybe which is just ridiculous but i am glad that i have this that was like only five dollars i still plan to try out all of that w7 makeup are you guys interested in me doing a video on that? Do you want to watch me apply the W7 makeup, the eyeshadow, like every single product? I actually did order a brow product and a mascara, even though you guys know this is my favorite. But are you guys interested in watching me try out all of the W7 makeup that I got? Because I really do want to test it out and I figured it could be a good video. Um, you guys know I'm not good with eyeshadow. I'm not great, so my makeup looks don't look like a beauty guru by any means. But I mean, I will give my honest opinions on what I think of the makeup and if it's worth it. I mean, everything that I got was under $10. The palette itself was like $6.99. The blush, the foundation, everything else was like $5, $6.99. So it was really, really inexpensive. Again... I will try and link the W7 Lip Sleeping Mask because it is just as good, if not better, than the Laneige one. So yeah, I know you guys don't really care about my makeup because I literally wear the same stuff day in and day out. And give me just a moment, please. Okay, so... Again, here is the purse. Isn't it beautiful with the freaking blue leopard print sticking out? I just adore it so much. So originally in this back pocket here, I had my notebook and my little planner. I took that out because I felt like it kind of bulged the purse out a little bit more than I like. So for now, all I'm keeping in there are my pens and highlighters and my sunglasses because it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't push this part of the purse out anymore, if that makes any sense. And in the front pocket here, I keep, this is just an envelope that I have in there, I keep... That Ice Cubes gum I just got from Dollar Tree. I should have got more because I really love that gum. And then I just took my other mask out and I have this really cute Kish mask that I'm keeping in there for me. I have this green mask for Alden. And then, of course, for whenever I have to go into Target or Dollar Tree, I have this so my glasses do not fly off of my face. So that is everything in that pocket. And then let's get on into the inside of the purse. So I did add a few things since I just recently showed you guys what was in my purse, but it was because I was waiting on things to come in the mail and or stuff that I showed you I had gotten in the mail that I planned to add to my purse. So I did add to my purse. So, of course, right on top, I keep my keys. I have my Avon Skin So Soft Aromatherapy Calming Lotion. My pill container. My earbuds. I feel like I'm just doing a whole nother what's in my purse, but really I'm just trying to tell you how I organize my purse, even though right now I'm showing you what's in my purse. It'll make sense in a minute, I hope. Um, my Victoria's Secret bombshell, my baby aspirins. Okay, so 
Do you guys remember how in this purse there was the back zippered pocket and then like that little slit pocket area with that extra zip pocket that originally I thought was a middle divider? This might be frowned upon, but it's not like I planned to sell this purse or anything, but I cut that part out because it drove me crazy. I like wanted to switch purses because it drove me crazy so much. Things would get stuck in that little area that I didn't want in there and it would bulge the purse out to where all of my other things just wouldn't fit in there right. So the little pocket that was right in front of this zippered pocket here, I cut that out and I did it like you can't even tell there was anything there. So now everything lays a lot better in my purse. Also, I got a new wallet because, well, there's a whole story with that. The studded wallet I got from Throw It Up, I'm dying to use. I'm going to use that when I switch to a bigger purse because I think that is the cutest wallet ever. I saw this on eBay, so I grabbed it. Um, and it's honestly the perfect size purse, and I love everything about it. It's this really pretty dusty rose fossil wallet. It does have this zipper in the back that I could put coin in if I wanted to. And what I like about it is you unzip it and you have the perfect amount of room for cards. Like, it's not overkill. I have a lot of wallets that, like, I mean, you could probably put, like, 20 cards in. And I don't have 20 cards, you know. So I have my ID, my debit card my Cash App card, a Venmo card, and an Applebee's gift card here. And then in these two little pockets, I have my dad's driver's license and his fishing permit. And then inside this little pocket behind there, I keep this family photo of my fiance, myself, and Alden for his first birthday shoot. And then this I grabbed at the Chinese place the other day. If you use Postmates, you we keep getting rudely cut off because I have no room on my phone somehow, even though I have no photos on my phone right now. Anyway, let's pray together, my fiance is at work all day tomorrow, and then me and Alden will try and get a vlog done for you guys. Last minute. They can't see. Oh yeah, he is meditating. So yeah, okay, we're gonna try and vlog for you guys oh. tomorrow. I'm gonna put all of my makeup away, take all of my makeup off, and get ready for bed. And, um, yeah. I'm sorry if this video was boring, but I thought it was a good idea at the time. I thought I was showing you how I organized my purse, and, but it felt more like a what's in my purse and, again, but... And you guys pull, I... Hopefully you guys are okay with it. It's about purses, and, and we all can, love purses, right? And, and you, uh, are you, uh, do you guys pull, <laughs> go play, play at the pool with a sunny day? On a sunny day, go play in the pool if you guys own a pool, but we can't go swimming until Wait, summertime. Yeah. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt I wore in my What's in My Purse video because I am, my soul. I'm obsessed with this shirt I got from Thread Up. It's just so comfortable, and I just love wearing long sleeves, but I promise I'm going to wash it yeah, but again, and then I will be wearing it again. So if yeah, you but... see me in the shirt a lot in my next videos, don't judge me. It's my new alien... From Toy, from Toy Story shirt, because you guys know I wear that shirt all the time, too. That's my favorite short sleeve shirt. This is my favorite long sleeve shirt. But before we get cut off, we're going to say bye, yeah, have a good night, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Yeah, but how do you wear my shirt? How do you like his gray shirt? Okay. It we'll, will see. And it's long sleeves. Say bye. Goodbye. All right, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. Hi, happy new year. Happy New Year, even and, though it's February. And, and, and you got, we, we bought a fowl, we are all your kid, and go see them. Yeah, if any fireworks started happening and they woke you up, I'd be pretty upset. So, uh, don't shoot off fireworks, kids. Happy New Year, even though we're in February. <laughs> and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.